Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question I got a lot recently. And that is how do you set up your two factor authentication on crypto.com? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to set up two factor authentication on your crypto.com app? Well, that's pretty easy. As you know, just recently crypto.com reset all of the accounts because there was some sort of a security issue they were worried about. And in order to log back into your crypto.com, you do need to set up your two-factor authentication. It's all handled here in the app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all these written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open my crypto.com app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. And as you can see, I get this notification. I'm required to reset my two-factor authentication. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and set up your two-factor authentication button right here, 2FA. Next, this page comes up. It lets you know what two-factor authentication is. You can read through it. It's basically just set up to help secure your account. So I'm going to toggle this little thing on right here. Next, you need to enter in the passcode that you set up with your crypto.com app in the past. So I'm going to enter mine in off screen. Okay, next you're going to get this screen right here. So if you are setting up your two-factor authentication with a Google authenticator, what you want to do is go ahead and scan this. I only use one phone, which most people do. So how are you supposed to scan an image with the same phone? It doesn't really make any sense. So what you want to do or what I normally do right here is I click on this two little paper looking things and it's going to copy this long code right here, which is your authentication key. So I'm going to click there now. Okay. So now it's copied to my clipboard. Now what you want to do is switch over to your authenticator. I'm going to be using Google authenticator just because it's what I'm used to, but there are a number of other authenticators that you can use. So let me switch over to my Google authenticator. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Google authenticator. This is the homepage here. Here on the homepage, you're going to see these rolling numbers that changes every, I think it's 30 seconds or so. But in order to set up your two-factor authentication for your crypto.com, you want to click down here on this little plus button. It's kind of a colorful little one. Once you click there, then you get these two options, scan QR code. Again, we're using the same phone, so we're not going to use that. Or you can do this one right here, enter a setup key. Okay, next you get this information. What you can do is on the account button, usually I'll just put in crypto.com, but I already have another crypto.com rolling key that they reset or they won't accept. So to differentiate it, I will go ahead and put in required reset and then the year probably. Okay, so I went ahead and typed that in and that way I can differentiate when I get into my Google Authenticator, what is the new crypto.com two-factor authentication and the old one. And then here on this line, the key, you just want to go ahead and paste in the number that you had copied from your crypto.com app. Okay. So I just pasted it in. And once that is finished, go ahead and click on this blue add button. Okay. So here we are. As you can see, I now have the two-factor authentication for that key rolling right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this number, and then we're going to switch back over to the crypto.com and then paste it in to the verification. You do have to do it sort of quick because as you can see, the number is going to expire quickly. So usually I'll wait until it resets and then I'll copy the number and then quickly hop over to my crypto.com app. So let me copy it now. All right. Okay. So now the number's reset. You just tap on the number and you can see it's copied. Let me jump over to crypto.com. All right. Here I am back in crypto.com. I need to enter in my passcode because I switched off screen. So I'm going to enter that in. Okay. Next here we are on that same screen inside crypto.com and you want to click right here on proceed to verify. Next, this screen pops up and all you want to do is just paste in that six digit code from your Google authenticator app. And I'm going to click there and paste it in now. All right. I'm going to click continue. And immediately this screen pops up. My two-factor authentication is enabled successfully. 2FA is now enabled and I'll tap anywhere to continue. And immediately it brings me to my homepage on crypto.com. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to set up your two-factor authentication on crypto.com, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.